this is a very late prediction video. The recap came out pretty late, so sorry about that. Um, I have to do the predictions. And the... <laughs> oh. And... <coughs> In the past, um, I would do it every Friday or Saturday, but Thursday Night Football obviously includes my Bears. And obviously when you're a fan of a team, the prediction of your team is going to be the most important, so I, I, I can't miss that, you know? So... Let's begin. I'm fairly tired. It's 4 o'clock. I got class. I'm probably going to finish this, take a shower, and then go to bed. Yeah. Anyway, let's begin. It's week 6. Let's check in on the playoff statuses. Where are my bears at? Two and four, we're, we're not making the playoffs, but, yeah, we're probably going to win. <clears throat> Fourteen and three. <laughs> Sorry, now the playoff picture sits at the Eagles. Um, we're pretty much right now, at the way they're standing, they pretty much have to go. I'm sure they'll go 500, and they're going to make it, um, and they'll probably do better than that, so yeah, Eagles are looking good, great playoff pitcher, let's, let's check quickly on the AFC, Bills are up top, 4-1 record, Steelers are at the very, very bottom, I'm going at draft order, oh, wow, apparently, through draft order to season ended right now the Bears would hold the whatever pick Lions Lions have the first overall pick what would they do if it probably the quarterback but yeah so the playoff is starting to form teams like Commanders and Panthers they're not officially eliminated, but oh, the way they've been playing, Commanders might beat my Bears. It's a winnable game on either side. Favors the Bears. Panthers, you know, they can probably win a few games here. <coughs> but obviously, it, it, you know. Without further ado, let's begin. Let's start with, uh, let's start with Sunday's slates of games. Where do we start, though? That is the question. Is there a London game this week? I don't know. Well, let's just start here. Colts Jaguars. Um, it's looking pretty clear that the Jags win versus the Chargers was a fluke. However, there's still a better football team than they were last year. That is a fact. Trevor, you know, he has no nothing really to work with. You know, Jackson doesn't really have that much talent. However, I think he's going to be good enough to secure a win versus the Colts. Give me the Jags to win and sweep the Colts for the first time, and I don't know when. I know they don't really do good at Lucas Oil, but just give me the sweep. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a very entertaining game, but give me, um, hmm. 13. Yeah, that looks about accurate. Next up. Zach the Bears fan. Oh, I think that's my old Roblox username. <laughs> oh, Zach the piece of guy. Ah, yeah, that was like 2012. Ah, 
Mm. Patriots Browns. This is um I'm actually stumped on this matchup. Like I'm really stumped. Also got Lions, Raiders, Titans, Texans in the bye. Um this one is like a coin flip for me. Um, but I don't really have a coin to flip right now. But I have a Ford Taurus RS. Um, part of me leans more towards the Patriots, but I'm gonna flip this car if it lands on the back. Patriots it lands in front. Browns. Um, okay, land on the front. Patriots it is. They get the three and three. Um, maybe the Patriots to win this shit 25 to fucking, I don't know, 20. And this is the matchup that should be on prime time, but no, they're making people watch the Bears. Sorry about that, America. <laughs> you get to watch an ugly Bears game instead of what could be one of the best matchups this season, if not the best regular season game this season. Um, I expect a shootout. Um, two electric offenses. But give me the Bills in this one. I think the Bills are finally going to come up over the top over the Chiefs in regular season and in the playoffs. However, the Chiefs are an elite offense. They're not to be disrespected. The Bills are not going to win this game by more than a field goal. Maybe a touchdown. Give me the Bills to win this 30... 38 37 Next up Broncos Chargers Chargers um, Broncos just don't really have what it takes to compete With the other AFC West teams except the Raiders and they lost that one um, <laughs> At SoFi and of the momentum of a comeback win versus the Browns last week, I think the Chargers handily win this one. And the Chargers, 24-17. Next up, Packers-Jets. Now, at the beginning of the season, I would consider this a sure thing. But both these teams have the same record. Now, granted, this is it, Lambo. Do I think the Jets are going to win this game? They can. It's a very real possibility. I would not be surprised. However, just because I won't, I I wouldn't be surprised by it doesn't mean I, doesn't mean I think it's going to happen. I think the Packers are going to get this one. I hope not. I hope I'm wrong. I really do. But I think the Packers win another unconvincing game. Rodgers is going to bail out that team with his elite talent. An ugly win, 21-17. to 17. Next up, Bengals, Saints. You got Joey Burr versus whoever the Andy Dalton maybe. Good game. I can see the Saints winning this one, but I'm gonna go with the Bengals. I just think you know, they still have talent. They're still getting momentum. They're desperate to get a win after losing to a division rival. They need to win this one. Give me the Bengals to win this. 27-20. Ravens Giants. Ravens are a good team. However, the Giants are also a good team. I think this game will determine if the Giants are truly contenders or not. They're able to beat the Packers. They beat a good team already. However, people might be like, oh, it's just a fluke. It's just a fluke. But they're able to do it 
back-to-back -back weeks against two good teams. Then I think people start taking them seriously. And, you know, I believe in them. I think the Giants... Okay, now a tie. I think the Giants are actually going to get a win here. 22-21. to 21. A nail-biter of a win. But alas, a win is a win. Next up, Steelers, Bucks. The Bucks are coming off a very questionable, probably should have been a lost game of a bullshit pass interference call. They aren't nearly the same team they were in 2020. However, that being said, they aren't going to lose to the Steelers. The Steelers got a lot of issues right now. Um, that uh, winning season streak is going to come to an end. I'm sorry. Give me the Bucks to win this one comfortably, 31 to 17. Next up. Vikings, Dolphins. Now, Vikings, they're a good team. However, they have an issue. They cannot finish off their opponent. And when you got a feisty team like the Dolphins, that might be dangerous. If Tua was still in, I would say this is a win for the Dolphins, but I don't even think they have Teddy in. With their third string quarterback, I don't have the Dolphins. Looking at their schedule, with their third string quarterback, I got them going two and three. They have their, assuming Tua and Teddy Bridgewater are all out, this is what I have them going. I got them losing to them, but I got them beating the Steelers and Vikings, losing a close one to my Bears. And then winning a nail, losing in a nail biter to the Browns going into the bye week. The pickup win versus the Texans. Drop three straight against the Chargers and the Packers. Pick up two wins. Eight and nine. But Tua will come back eventually. And assuming Tua comes back, let's add two upsets over them. And an upset over the Packers, 11 and six. Something, I don't know. Uh, anyway, give me the Vikings to win this. 28-24. Niners-Falcons. Um, this gives off blowout vibes. I think the 49ers are going to win this one. Um, I'm getting pretty tired. I'm about to go to bed. And I think the 49ers are they're trying to get a good lead. I think with this, um, they're going to get two game up ahead. Uh, lead in the division because Rams are going to definitely win against the Panthers. I'm sorry. Um, it's in the Panthers' best business to tank right now to get a good quarterback. Baker has been very disappointing so far. I thought he has potential still, but it's like, you know. Um, give me the Niners to win. Thirty-three to fourteen. No, sixteen. Next up, Cardinals Seahawks. I could see the Seahawks winning this one. In fact, I'm gonna go bold. Give me the Seahawks winning this one, and an upset win over the Cardinals. Uh, Geno Smith is looking amazing so far. I really like what he's been. You know, putting out. It looks great. But it's going to be a close one. Seattle wins 23-20. And then Sunday night football. A great rivalry matchup. A very civil and not violent rivalry between the Cowboys and the Eagles. Um, I don't want to get attacked by Eagles Nation. And I also generally believe, as good as the Cowboys have been, um, the Eagles aren't going to go 17-0. Let's just be honest; they're going to win. A, they're going to lose a few games, but for the Eagles, this is a must-must win to control the narratives and to beat a hated rival. 
And, you know, there's games out here that I think... Wow, um, holy shit, they really have one of the easiest schedules in the league. Um, in, in this schedule, I think, um, maybe lost to the Titans, lost to the Giants, um, lost to the fucking, lost to the Cowboys, then... And then maybe I wow they really have one of the easiest schedules in the league. Um, wow, that is a very easy. I wish I had that schedule. Uh, give me the Eagles though. Give me the Eagles. Um, it's gonna be a close one. But give me the Eagles to win. Twenty nine, twenty seven. Nail biter, close win. I think it might be a game winning drive by either side. Great game. And finally, the best game of the week coming up today. Um, as the Bears family, you know, we're two and three right now. We've got a really bright future, regardless of the outcome. If Fields does play good, you know, it, it is what it is. If he does, great. Um, wins and losses aren't really that important. Um, if we lose, you know, good. Draft position. If you win, great. A win's a win. Um, I could see us losing. I can, I can see us losing every game, and I can see us winning every game, with only a few exceptions, like the Bills game. I don't see any scenario we beat that, barring a bunch of injuries or benching starters. However. I don't think it's going to be a blowout or anything. I think it's going to be a close game. Not a one point close, but... I, I'm i taking my Bears in this one. Because going into the next weeks, it's like, we got to get a win here. Because Patriots, we could win that, but... Uh, Cowboys, I don't really see that. However, with the Dolphins, winnable. And then you know, we got the Lions. Fat, we we got a good stretch of winnable games. A good stretch of winnable games coming up. And then going into the bye week, you know, we could be at 500. And then we play the Eagles. I don't think we're winning that. Bills, mm, Lions again. I don't think we're going to get sweat. I mean, could possibly. And then we finish up with the Vikings likely back up. So, I mean, there's, you know, every game I pick against, there's a case for them to win. You know, we won that one. We could have won that one if we were more disciplined and luck on our side. And the rest weren't. We probably shouldn't have won that one. We didn't deserve to win that one. And we definitely could have won that one. We just had to throw more. And no stupid fucking fumbles. Same with this one. You know? You win some, you lose some. No one's ever going to go 17-0 and or 0-17. Uh, but that being said... Oh, yeah, final score prediction. Give me the Bears to win this one. <laughs> 23 to 15. 23 to 15 is my final score prediction. Bears win to go up 3 and 3. Probably going to be their last win cuz I um, you know, I can see the Patriots and Cowboys beating us, but that's not final. You know, I did my season predictions in the beginning. It all changes weekly. So, I mean, I want to be shocked if we go two and two in the next three weeks. Two and two, I think, is a very likely outcome. Over the next six weeks, three and three, wins over the Falcons, Cowboys, and Dolphins. Maybe the Jets. 
Who knows? We're gonna win. A, probably gonna win a game or two. We aren't expected to. And we've already lost the game we were expected to win. So that's the joy of NFL football. You win games you don't expect. Sometimes you lose some. This game we're we're actually favorited. So I think we'll take care of business. Could lose. Could win. Who knows? Ever or Bears got a bright future. As for the rest of the teams, hopefully, you know, luck favors you. If you're the Jets, hope you guys can prove me wrong. Um, same with the Dolphins. Yeah. Go Bears. Good night.